best way to describe it would be slow and steady wins the race because it's been 11 years since I came to Canada and um, you know I set myself certain goals one step at a time and uh, you know 11 years later I'm finishing medical school but so nice deep breaths I started working for nine dollars an hour and uh, in a barrel cleaning conveyor belt type setting and a couple months later, I got into window cleaning. Later, got into high-rise window cleaning. You know, more of a um, rope-related work to come, and uh, I used that job to pay for my first degree at University of Calgary, um, degree in biochemistry. Um, actually, the job paid well enough so that I was able to buy uh, buy a first house while in school. Um, and um, yeah, after finishing my biochemistry degree, I, I worked for the fire department in Calgary for three years, which was an amazing experience, amazing job. While in the fire department, um, my sister convinced me I should try to write the MCAT and, uh, and, and apply for medical school, and so I did. Um, I ended up getting in, into med school that year. So in order for me to, to go from having an income and a career to no income and, and additional expenses of school, uh, I, I joined a medical officer training plan, uh, MOTP, provided by the Canadian Forces, um, where you know where they subsidize you through your studies in exchange for four years of service in, in regular force. Oh, congratulations! Thank you. Extremely proud. So, what does it mean to be graduating today? You know, it's a check mark uh, on, on the on the goal list, um, but as well as you know. Uh, it, it, there is an occasion and uh, there is a certain amount of responsibility and uh, you know professional um, duty that comes with this as well you know it's just not just not, not just any old degree um, and uh, I'm, I'm taking preparation for residency very seriously uh, you know so I've, I've arranged my time accordingly to be able to you know function at the highest possible level.